Well, we've just wrapped up the GSL competition. I'm going to feel bad about this not coming back ever again. Oh, it's been, and it's been such a great inspiration. Well, it has from the first time I ever went to one of these when we were first together and it was like, what? I couldn't believe what I was seeing. And there was a time when I felt like I could compete in this competition. Well, who does that? You want to look at this and go, oh, I want to do it. Toward the, toward the last few times they ran this thing, it was like, man, this is so world class. I, I just, I, you know, you could enter a car knowing that you're not going to win, but it'd still be fun to do. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but I just love seeing these, these models and uh, taking away from that lessons on, on how to improve uh, our own modeling. Right. <laughs> Now this happens to be one of my favorite cars is the 1959 Impala mostly because of the controversy when this car came out but my uncle had one and I fell in love with the tail lights and everything about it so I got this monogram kit a while back through eBay and just kind of stuck it away but I was inspired after the GSL to attempt putting this together so this is a 125th scale. It makes it about eight inches long for reference. That's probably the most popular size for model cars, that and 124th scale, but I think 125th scale is a bit more popular. Easier to put on a shelf. <laughs> it makes uh, some of the details almost impossible to do, like the lettering on the side. It's really tiny. I've gone to doing all my models in larger scale because I just can't deal with the tiny stuff anymore. I have to use a jeweler's loop. Now it has such an interesting design and style and I think it was a little ahead of its time for 1959, especially these tail lights and the flat fins. <laughs> it was it was really a design masterpiece. Oh, actually it was, yes. And it was controversial enough that it wasn't on the market very long. It seems like General Motors decided to redo the design because it was controversial, which is a shame. Right. I always thought they should have come out with this for 1960 and then had the 1960 come out in 59, which was closer to the 58 in style. Now the interior, I had to put quite a bit of work into that because it's visible at being a convertible and all. And I decided it needed seat belts. It did not come with those. And the front seats, no matter how hard I tried, you could still see the seam. So I ended up putting some paint on that to try to make it look more poofy. Now coming from a family of gearheads, basically, I've been crawling around the engine compartment of cars since I was about three. So I had to detail this engine to look as close to a real engine as possible. Now it's always tradition to start with the engine first. In a lot of ways I can see that because of the detail that has to go into it. But uh, here is my Impala's engine. Now, it always bothers me with a model car when you look in there and you can see where the plug wires are supposed to be but they don't have them. So in keeping with the tradition of the GSL, I put in plug wires. And a lot of other details. Oh yes, the battery and everything. <laughs> Then come the interior, and it had really nice seats, and I painted white, and I also did the chrome trim, and it didn't come with seat belts, but uh, I invented my own, again, in keeping with the GSL. You know, uh, my uncle had a 59, and it had seat belts, but he was a pilot, and he <laughs> insisted on putting seat belts in every car he ever owned. Right. Now, it's always fun to get the engine put in again and the frame and the interior seating and try to make all that fit. Sometimes you struggle with that part. Now, the dashboard in these cars was really detailed and I tried to get the chrome trim and, and the dashboard panel and everything 
uh, much like it would have looked, but that tiny, I found that a pin was my paintbrush. Well, and especially trying to get the needles on all of the gauges painted red. It was the, yeah, I used a very fine needle just dipped in paint. And then for the final assembly was bringing all of this together. And that's the part that always just stops my heart because sometimes it is such a tight fit, it almost doesn't fit together at all. So on a convertible, boy, if there's some little thing that goes wrong, it's going to show. Now being a 50 anything, it must have fuzzy dice hanging off the rear view mirror. Now I had to do the official Felix Chevrolet badging on this, including the plate frames and the, the card that goes inside where the license plate is. Uh, Felix Chevrolet is a well-known car dealership in Los Angeles. It's just uh, on Figueroa and Jefferson. They've been in business since 1921. And they're well known for their Chevys and uh, their advertising of Felix the Cat. The first owner of Felix Chevrolet was a gentleman called Winslow Felix. And because he and I had had the same last name at one point, it was kind of a fascination that in Los Angeles, there's this great big Felix the Cat with the Chevy bow tie. It's a big neon sign and the Felix the Cat is smiling down on the Harbor Freeway. But it has quite a following of uh, from the Hispanic community down there and they have a lot of car shows and Impalas. So this is what this is all about right here. Now I figured it needed a good display stand to sit on, so I wanted it parked on pavement, if you will. So I created a pavement out of using just sandpaper and spray painting it with a flat black and gray to create a blacktop. And of course painted on the, the lines for the car to park between. Uh, the Chevrolet sign and the Felix Chevrolet license plate frames around was just printed off on the computer. Well, it sure turned out nice. Oh, I'm happy with it. Yeah, it's good. It looks great in the display case, too. So that's all fun. Uh, a really fun model of a really, really fun car. Well, I've always had a fondness for the 59 Impala because I've got some history with it. Like I say, my uncle owned one, but I just have fallen in love with Impalas forever. And we're going to take a look at some of your other automotive models. Oh boy, that one's a reference to my past. <laughs> <laughs> and the Chevelle here, just a, a beautiful car and just, again, it's just a fun, fun, fun car. Right, my dream car. <laughs> well, if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button. And if you're not a subscriber to the channel Good Grief, do subscribe and you can do that by clicking on the upcoming blue button. Zoink! Right there is the blue button. Well, we're not sure how you found this video on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring and we will see you here on Sunday. Right. We'll see ya. We'll see ya. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.